Good morning. I am Professor Christine Kunderis. As the faculty marshal, it is my privilege to declare that the 122nd Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts commencement ceremony is now in order. On behalf of the faculty at MCLA, it is my distinct honor to bring congratulations and greetings to the graduates here today. We are proud of all of your achievements. It is my pleasure to introduce and welcome Elizabeth Rodeo, who will sing the national anthem. Elizabeth is accompanied by Matthew Thomas. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts, I am honored to convene today's 122nd Commencement Exercises. I am delighted to preside over today's exercises as the 12th President of MCLA and to welcome family members, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, and distinguished guests on this special day. And of course, welcome and congratulations to the class of 2021. Commencement is the culmination of years of academic work and accomplishments of our graduates. During your time at MCLA, you have compiled a long list of accomplishments and inspired us with your success in the classroom, in the lab, on the stage, in the gallery, on the athletic fields and courts, and in the community. You have studied abroad, conducted research, participated in service trips and internships, and created community service programs to meet the needs you saw in our communities. You were inducted into honor societies, held offices in student government, produced works of arts, theater, dance, and spoken word, scored goals, runs, and baskets, and crossed finish lines. Some of our graduates returned to school after time off, bringing with them professional and life experiences that enriched class discussions and that underscore the importance of lifelong learning. Graduates who have fulfilled the requirements of a master's degree in education or a certificate of advanced graduate study have devoted themselves to changing the lives of students through the power of education. MBA graduates have balanced work while attending class on weekends and online to become better leaders and managers. Many of you worked full-time or multiple part-time jobs while you pursue, pursued your degree. Some of you are parents, step-parents, and foster parents, raising families or caring for parents and God grandparents. And you completed your education while balancing a plethora of responsibilities. 
You've set an example for all of us and have made your families and all of us at MCLA proud. Today, we celebrate all of you, and we are grateful for the time we've had with you. At a small college like ours, we have the good fortune to get to know our students and they to get to know us. There are, there are many people who have contributed in special ways to the accomplishments of our graduates, especially the faculty and staff at MCLA. They care deeply about their work and take a personal interest in the educational experiences and well-being of our students. My colleagues and I are called to our work at MCLA by one common purpose. We want to contribute to the education of the next generation of leaders. Because of that purpose, our faculty give of their time and expertise generously and without hesitation as we continue to build and shape the future of MCLA and public higher education. Our dedicated staff and administrators work in partnership with the faculty. No matter their role or assignment, our staff members go above and beyond to make MCLA a place where students can achieve powerful results. They serve the college with distinction and their commitment to our students our community, and one another is inspiring. Speaking for the faculty and staff of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts, it is our sincere hope that we have done well by you and that your education has prepared you for a lifetime of possibilities. It is our further hope that as you leave here today, you do so with a greater understanding of yourself and the world. I invite the faculty, administrators, and staff who are here, who are here to please join us following today's exercises for a Zoom meeting so that graduates and their families and friends can recognize and thank you. It is my distinct honor to introduce and welcome Dr. Carlos Santiago, Commissioner of the Department of Higher Education for Massachusetts. Commissioner Santiago was appointed to this position by the Board of Higher Education in July 2015. Working with the BHE, he is responsible for providing overall direction to higher education in Massachusetts and helping shape state-level policies that maximize the benefits of higher education to the Commonwealth and its citizens. The commissioner also serves as chair of the State Higher Education Executive Officers Executive Committee. The commissioner's prior experience includes serving as chancellor of the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee and serving as provost and chief operating officer at the University of Albany. Having earned the PhD in economics from Cornell University, Dr. Santiago has served as professor of economics at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee and SUNY Albany. Dr. Santiago is also the author or co-author of six books and has published dozens of articles and book reviews of which many focus on economic development and the changing socioeconomic status of Latinos in the United States. On two separate occasions, in 1996 and 2011, Dr. Santiago has been named one of the 100 most influential Hispanics in the United States by Hispanic Business Magazine. Please welcome Commissioner Carlos Santiago. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. President Burge, Chairman Boudron, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and graduates and families. Thank you for the invitation to celebrate the academic accomplishments of your graduating students. I bring you greetings and congratulations on behalf of Governor Charlie Baker, Secretary of Education James Pizer, Board of Higher Education Chair Chris Gabrielli, and all the members of the Massachusetts Board of Higher Education. Graduates, we are here to celebrate your academic success, and I am here to highlight the implications of what you have just accomplished. <clears throat> I want to underscore what this means for you, and yes, what this means for the future of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, for your children and your children's children. First, it is important to acknowledge that this is not how any of us envisioned this year's graduation would take place. If over a year ago, anyone would have predicted that we would be celebrating our graduating students via Zoom, we would not have believed them. But here we are. I want to reflect on two things from the past year, the importance of individual resiliency and the need for continued collective action on racial justice. First, let's reflect a bit on what we have learned in this very challenging environment. 
Things will not be the same moving forward. The new normal will not look like life a year ago. Each one of you is in a sense a pioneer. Your experience, all the challenges that you have endured this past year will help those of us working in higher education to shape the college experience of the future. Teaching and learning will never be the same. Our public institutions did an exceptional job of pivoting from face-to-face -face learning to remote learning, but it wasn't easy. Residence halls were empty. Many of you were sent home to begin studying and working remotely. Faculty and staff left the campus to continue their work from a distance. Plexiglass was put into place. The campus was methodically cleaned. Protective supplies were purchased. And yet, teaching and learning continued, albeit very differently from before. As the pandemic spread, the economy took a serious turn for the worse. This was especially true in North Adams and the towns in the Berkshires dependent on tourism. People lost jobs. Perhaps you lost yours and maybe you worried how you would pay for school. We began to see rising homelessness and hunger in both the general population and certainly among students. Some of you lost people you love. You saw that black and brown students were disproportionately affected by COVID-19. Many did not return to school last fall because they had to prioritize family income and family health needs first. We had better hope they come back because students of color remain the only group that is growing in Massachusetts. And in an economy like ours, a knowledge-based economy, we depend on more educated students to fill the jobs needed to keep the economy moving forward. I wish you could hear the conversations we're having in state government about declining college enrollments and what it may mean for our state. If you could eavesdrop, you'd know how serious I am when I say I'm grateful grateful to each and every one of you for earning your degrees. No matter what your major is, your skills and talents will help Massachusetts rebuild its economy and move past this pandemic. But it's going to take some time, and that means the transition from college to the so-called real world could be slower for the class of 21. I want to reassure you about this. I have no doubt that you will land on your feet eventually more than any other class of college graduates in recent memory, you have demonstrated how resilient you are. Resilience is a combination of factors. It involves a positive attitude, even in the face of adversity, mental toughness, and the ability to seek help from others rather than go it alone. There is a substantial body of scientific research that shows resilience matters more when it comes to success than innate intelligence, and best of all, Resilience is something that individuals can develop within themselves. None of us, none of us were born resilient. COVID-19, as terrible as it has been, has given each of us a chance to become a more resilient person. We've overcome obstacles we didn't know existed. Even though I don't know you personally, I know how resilient you are because I know what it took for you to overcome the challenges of this last year in order to learn your degree. Now that same set of skills will help you in writing your next chapter. Some of you will go for a job interview and perhaps not get the offer you hoped for immediately. You may have moments where you wonder, what am I doing wrong? This is what resiliency, this is where resiliency kicks in. You look back on this day, your commencement day, and you remember the times when you thought you'd never graduate. You remind yourself that you in fact did you graduated from college despite a global pandemic. And with that reality check, you will know that you can indeed succeed in landing that first job, even if it takes a bit of time. But graduating from college isn't just about getting a job. It's also learn what it means to be an engaged citizen. Many of you voted in your first election last year. You watched or took part in protests demanding racial justice. And that's where I want to pause and reflect for a moment. This wasn't only the year of COVID-19. This was also the year when Americans of all backgrounds and colors stood up and said, enough is enough to racist attacks on African-Americans, Asian-Americans, and other minoritized populations. We saw people who had never taken place in a demonstration before head to the streets, angry and demanding change. The death of George Floyd touched a nerve in all of us. And for those of us in higher education, it was a reminder that we too have work to do to improve racial equity on college campuses. 
I want you to know that we are taking this work seriously. The support from a national foundation and additional funding from Massachusetts taxpayers, we are working to achieve greater equity and racial justice at every public college and university in the Commonwealth. For too long, higher education has focused on whether students are ready for college. Now, rather than looking at whether certain groups of students measure up to our expectations, we're focused on changes we need to make to provide better support for you. First and foremost, we need to identify and repair the policies and practices that have not equitably served all students in realizing their dreams of a college degree. As you leave us, I want you to know that racial equity is our highest priority. We are committed to making sure that all students, regardless of the color of their skin or their zip code, have an equal opportunity to do what you are doing today, graduate from college. I hope that as graduates of our system, you will watch what we do, not just what we say. Your demonstration of resiliency and our commitment to racial equity, these are two of the most essential ingredients needed for high achievement in higher education and in the life that follows it. I hope that you stay resilient and stay active as informed, engaged citizens who demand a better world for all of us. I wish you the very best as you celebrate your graduation today and extend my appreciation to all the faculty, staff, family, and friends who supported you in your journey. Thank you. Next, I would like to welcome the chair of MCLA's Board of Trustees, Mohan Boudram. Mohan has served on MCLA's Board of Trustees since 2012, has chaired the board's Enrollment Management Committee, and co-chaired the college's 2016 Presidential Search Committee. Mohan? Good afternoon. It is my honor to bring greetings on behalf of the MCLA Board of Trustees. Today we gather to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2021. 283 graduates will receive bachelor's degrees today and 42 will receive graduate degrees. Our graduates come from a diverse range of backgrounds. About half of you are first generation college students, the first in your families to earn a college degree. 20% of you identify as Alana students, African American, Latinx, Asian American, and Native American. You come to MCLA from all over the United States, from Massachusetts and New York, as well as the District of Columbia and 14 other states, including the other five New England states in California, Illinois, Louisiana, Minnesota, and Oregon. You're a very academically talented group with 53% of you earning some sort of academic merit scholarship during your time here, and over half of you graduating with honors today. As board chair, one of my primary responsibilities is to ensure that MCLA is successful in its mission to promote excellence in learning and teaching, innovative scholarship, intellectual creativity, public service, applied knowledge, and active and responsible citizenship. The class of 2021 clearly personifies this mission through its involvement in community service, internships, student government, athletics, journalism, creative and performing arts, academic research, and a host of other leadership opportunities. The Board of Trustees congratulates all of our graduates and their families on these amazing accomplishments. We are confident that MCLA has prepared you well to be practical problem solvers and engaged and resilient global citizens, and we can't wait to see what you're able to accomplish as our newest alumni. Congratulations. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Crystal Wojcik, president of the class of 2021. Crystal is from Cheshire, Massachusetts, and was born and raised right here in Berkshire County. She's graduating today with a major in business administration, minors in both leadership and economics, and a concentration in accounting. Crystal has been a commuter during her entire time at MCLA, but nevertheless has been very involved on campus since her freshman year. Crystal, Crystal has served as the treasurer and two-time president of the Student Activities Council. She was also the accounting club president, senior class president, and president of our chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success. She also worked on campus as an admissions ambassador for three years. 
Crystal has presented at six undergraduate research conferences and has earned the distinction of, of Massachusetts Commonwealth Scholar through her two semesters of in-depth research during her senior year. I'm happy to share with you that following graduation, Crystal will remain right here in Berkshire County to begin work full-time as the finance director and town accountant for the town of Adams. Please join me in welcoming Crystal to the podium. Thank you for the warm welcome, President Berg. It is an honor to stand before you today as the senior class president. Today, I'm speaking to a remarkable group of students. I am speaking to the thinkers of today and the leaders of tomorrow. Today's graduating class is a group of students who enrolled in MCLA with curiosity, excitement, and energy. We began this journey with a desire for individual growth and a passion for learning. While today marks the closing of one of our greatest accomplishments yet, it also marks the start of a new endeavor. Today marks the beginning of where we transition from learning to teaching others what we have learned. One of the greatest lessons I have learned at MCLA came from Dr. Anthony Daly. In 2019, I had the privilege of enrolling in a travel course to Ireland, which Dr. Daly taught. Since I was a child, it has been a dream of mine to travel to the Giants Causeway in Northern Ireland. When I found out this destination was part of the itinerary for the trip, I was overjoyed. It was scheduled for the last day of the trip, and I thought to myself, visiting the Giants Causeway will be the perfect way to round out this travel experience. For anyone who has ever been to Ireland, you will know that the country is infamous for its rainy weather. When the day came for our visit to the Giants Causeway, the weather was predicted to be miserable with extremely high winds, thunderstorms, and cold temperatures. As I woke up and got ready on the final day of the trip, I thought to myself, this is my once in a lifetime chance to see the Giants Causeway. Why does the weather have to be so terrible on my day to go? On our bus ride to the Northern Coast, Dr. Daly gave us a little pep talk that I will never forget. He warned us of the crazy weather we were in for. He told us we might get our feet wet. We might even be a little cold. But then he said the following quote, are you going to let the rain ruin this experience? Or are you going to let the rain be the reason this experience is all the more memorable? As I reminisce on our time at MCLA, I believe my experience in Ireland is metaphoric to the experience of the class of 2021. It is no secret that we have all had a unique college experience and that we have endured quite a significant rainstorm. Through the storm, the class of 2021 has developed resilience. We have learned perseverance and how to be adaptive in the face of change. We are multifaceted, self-disciplined, strong and determined individuals. I have witnessed the class of students take the reins on an extremely challenging college experience and make the most out of it. And all I can say is what an amazing tribute that is to our trailblazer spirit. So I leave the class of 2021 with this. How you choose to approach adversity can make or break your experience. There will be times when it is raining in your life, and it feels like the world is working against you. During those times, I challenge each of you to ask yourself the following. Are you going to let the rain ruin your experience? Or are you going to let the rain be the reason you remember the experience? Congratulations to the MCLA class of 2021. Go into this world, be fearless, and brave the storm head on. Thank you. Next, please join me in welcoming the Master of Education speaker, Courtney Meisberger. Courtney has been teaching middle school students at Nessicus Regional Middle School in Dalton for 13 years. She is a humanities teacher who came to teaching as an encore career after working in government, politics, and the family business. She and her husband own a small business and have two adult daughters. Please welcome Courtney. Welcome, and thank you for coming today. And by coming today, I mean watching on Zoom in your pajamas. It's been quite a year, hasn't it? I don't know that I need to tell you how difficult this year has been, because I know you've heard it time and time again, possibly even earlier today. You've heard how students are falling behind and how they're hurting mentally and physically. You've gone from being considered a hero to being considered the cause of this hurting. Through it all, you've persevered. Whether you're teaching in person, remotely, a combination of the two, or preparing to become a teacher, 
you have held steady to the task. This has been a dark time, and yet you get up every single morning committed to teaching small or large humans, not just to add and subtract or find the main idea of a passage, but how to be better, kinder citizens of the world. You, the class of 2021, has decided every day to make the world a better place because what you do matters. The students you are teaching now and will teach in the future are the ones who will find new cures to diseases so that we are never again paralyzed by a pandemic that disproportionately affects disadvantaged communities and communities of color. Your students, the souls you teach, will be the ones to fix a broken and at times destructive political system, bringing equity and justice to our world. The future won't happen by magic. It will happen because of the work you do. Colleen Wilcox said, teaching is the ultimate act of optimism. And she's right. You, fellow classmates, are an optimistic bunch. Your belief in the power of our work guided you to select capstone topics like multicultural education, using stories to build communities, and engaging parents in their students' learning. You believe that children everywhere deserve the very best we have to offer, and you have put in countless hours working to give it. Being older than most of you, I've had jobs in both the public and private sector, and I can tell you that the career path you have chosen is absolutely one of the hardest. From the time you decided to be an educator to this very moment, you've seen for yourself the struggle, hurt, and trauma of our students. Yet you forged ahead because you've also shown these same students that they're valuable and worthy of love. You believe in your heart that you can make a difference. And after all the time I've spent learning with you, I believe it too. Congratulations. Today, we are privileged to recognize two very special individuals who have made significant contributions of service and leadership to Berkshire County, the Commonwealth, their respective communities, and the nation. This year's honorary degree recipients are accomplished and distinguished. Their achievements in the areas of science and the humanities are noteworthy and unique. Our first honorary degree recipient is Stephen Boyd. Stephen Boyd, you have dedicated your career to economic development and scientific advancement in the Berkshires, creating opportunities for collaboration and partnership that have resulted in job creation and regional growth. As the CEO of Boyd Technologies and Lee, you have nurtured your company, growing sales and business and welcoming new customers and pivoting to focus exclusively on healthcare, an extremely important and growing sector today. Boyd Technologies has helped create single-use medical devices and medical technologies that have saved lives, helping its clients with FDA research, product development, testing, and advanced manufacturing. You have expanded employment opportunities in the Berkshires as Boyd Technologies has grown. You built on your success by spearheading the creation of the Berkshire Innovation Center in Pittsfield, a state-of-the-art building designed to accelerate the innovation and growth of existing companies in the Berkshire region, primarily small to mid-sized manufacturing companies in life sciences and the life sciences supply chain, with the ultimate objective of spurring economic growth, jobs, and investment in our region. Years ago, Governor Deval Patrick and Pittsfield Mayor Daniel Bianchi asked you for your help in leading the efforts for the Berkshire Innovation Center because of your vast experience in innovation and economic development. With $14.2 million in public and private funding, including from the Massachusetts Life Sciences Center, you established the BIC as a charitable organization in 2014. This organization's goals were to combat community deterioration 
that had been occurring in the Berkshires for decades and to support regional economic development and job growth. In February 2020, the BIC officially opened its doors with 20,000 square feet of space for regional manufacturers and businesses. Even in a year made more challenging by the COVID-19 pandemic, BIC members have used the facility to their advantage, developing innovative ideas thanks to access to advanced R&D equipment, state-of-the-art lab and training facilities, and collaboration opportunities with BIC's renowned research partners, as well as internship and apprenticeship programs for local students, including at MCLA. When it opened, Governor Charlie Baker said projects like the Berkshire Innovation Center are what sets Massachusetts apart, ensuring that cities and towns across the Commonwealth experience the benefits of the state's thriving life sciences sector. We have seen proof of that as the BIC has welcomed new members and supported technological pilot projects. New and established companies in the Berkshires maintain space at the center, including General Dynamics, Vidmob, and Milltown Capital. With so many members actively involved, the BIC promotes collaboration between industry, government, and academia in order to spark innovation and the diverse sustainable growth of technology-enabled companies, startups, and ideas. Today, you are also an advisor to the baker Polito administration on both the Economic Development Planning Council and the Steering Committee for the Department of Higher Education. You also serve on the Advanced Manufacturing Collaborative and Manufacturing Emergency Response Team, EMERT, for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, which helped mobilize Massachusetts companies during the pandemic to supply personal protective equipment, barriers, and other products and services in the interest of stopping the spread of COVID-19. As an advisor, you are able to offer your expertise and vision in a way that serves not only Berkshires, but the entire Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Stephen Boyd, in recognition of your life's work and your ongoing contributions to the Berkshires and the Commonwealth, and your commitment to regional growth, innovation, and education, the Board of Trustees of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts is proud to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa. President Burge, members of the Board of Trustees, students, and to all the stakeholders of MCLA, thank you. I am deeply honored, grateful, and humbled to receive this degree and acknowledgement. I have been supported and helped by so many that I want to share this with. To my fellow honoree, Ty Allen Jackson, I am incredibly inspired by your work and honored to share the stage with you today. To my colleagues and family at Boyd Tech, thank you for making it happen all day, every day. I am more excited about what's to come than anything we've done yet. And that's because I get to work with you and the patients we serve. To my wife, Ellen, and our fantastic children, Abby and Bromley, thank you for putting up with me at home and encouraging me to try and try again. I love you. To Ben Sosny and all of the staff, co-founders, and board directors at the Berkshire Innovation Center, you are the early movers and change makers that bind the fabric of our community. Thank you for engaging the work and sharing your talent and fantastic ideas. Collective wisdom always wins which is why institutions like MCLA are so critical to our civil society. If COVID-19 has taught us anything, it has showed us how critical our public, private, and civil alignments are. Throughout history, partnerships between government, industry, and academia have been safe harbors for resiliency and opportunity to spring forward like the evolution we are living through today. Institutions like MCLA are the bridge to innovation, talent, and know-how rooted in history and human experience. So we are fortunate to have them 
assuring future leaders, change makers, and solution providers like yourselves, moving the world in a more sustainable way, in a just and equitable and diverse way. To the graduates of 2021, I offer this one piece of advice to you as you enter the next phase of your development in the lifelong journey of growth. Ask for help or lend a hand. This is one of the most powerful things you can do. To seek the advice and counsel of experts is always the better way. Help guarantees the possibility of alternate perspectives and new outcomes or simply options that leave you with choices and a better chance for success. Asking for help and offering a hand in the service of others are the most effective ways to impact change and growth within yourselves and the community you depend on. Collective wisdom always wins. Our second honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker is Ty Allen Jackson. Ty Allen Jackson, your work as an author and literacy advocate has inspired tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of America's children to read. When you were growing up in the Bronx, your mother introduced you to your local library and you became an avid reader. You loved comic books but you couldn't help noticing there were no black superheroes. The universe opened up for you when you read Native Son by Richard Wright, a book with a black man main character, a protagonist to whom you could deeply relate. Later, you moved to Pittsfield, Massachusetts, working as a sales representative for Republic Services, one of the country's biggest waste removal companies. That work taught you lessons about connection, engagement, and relating to different people. It turned out this would all come in handy later in your life. You had children, and when your son made $50 from his lemonade stand and asked you what he should do with the money, you realized you didn't have a good answer. Characteristically, you tried to find a book that could help and found no children's books about personal finance. Never a bystander, you took it upon yourself to write one. Now you have many books to your name, starring black characters like Danny Dollar, who has helped teach kids about finance and entrepreneurship, and the Supa Dupa kid who fights bullies with his superpowers. In 2011, you founded a literacy organization, Ty Allen Jackson LLC. Today, you have visited at least 150 schools using your humor and charisma to get students interested in reading. Your books have been featured on CNN, NBC Nightly News, The Steve Harvey Show, PBS, and the Hallmark Channel. Your young readers have gone on to change the world themselves, including Sidney Keyes, a young man who read Danny Dollar and decided to create a book club for black boys. When children write to you, they tell you, thank you for creating a character that looks like me. Thank you for creating a character I relate to. Some of them tell you they never liked reading before they picked up one of your books. You are helping introduce children to a universe they previously didn't know existed and you are helping them imagine themselves doing incredible things. But your superpower isn't just to promote literacy for children. As the co-founder of Read or Else movement, you have shed light on the fact that adults with the low lowest literacy levels are more likely to live in poverty, face trial in the juvenile court system, or be sentenced to prison as adults. And never one to stay on the sidelines, you have applied your talents for connection and communication to offering professional development for educators and others, offering an opportunity for professionals to more deeply understand what it means to be black in America. You see this work as your obligation as a global citizen to form a greater sense of love, understanding, and empathy. Though you did not pursue higher education as a young man, you have spent your lifetime educating others creating opportunities for children to live more meaningful lives through literacy and fulfilling your own dreams. You mentioned that receiving a doctor wasn't even on your list of potential goals, 
It was beyond those goals, which was a reminder to you that there is truly no calling for, what, for which we cannot accomplish. For all of your accomplishments, for your incredible dedication to others, and for all you will accomplish in the future, Ty Allen Jackson, the Board of Trustees of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts, is proud to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters honoris causa. Greetings, MCLA graduates, staff, faculty, and alum. My name is Ty Allen Jackson. I would and should say that it is an honor to give this speech, but honestly, that would understate how important this is for me. This is truly one of the highlights of my career. The opportunity to give this speech and receive a doctorate wasn't even a dream I knew I could have, which is unusual because it is my purpose to help others, especially children, to dream a big dream. As a children's book author and motivational speaker, I travel across the country, inspiring kids to read, to become the best versions of themselves, and to dream bigger. In fact, when I autograph a child's book, I often add the phrase, dream bigger. And yet, despite this mantra, I couldn't dream big enough to foresee myself receiving a doctorate for my work. So I wanna thank President Burge and the staff of MCLA for this honor and to remind me to live my own creed and to dream bigger. I also wanna thank the following people for I share this doctorate with them. My mother, Diane Brown, my family, Martique, Asia, Ajay, and Aaliyah Jackson. I also wanna thank the Mali Dietz, and Taylor family for believing in me. I stand here before you virtually humble because I'm following in the footsteps of other commencement speakers whose accomplishments, prestige, and titles far exceed mine. Yet, here I am, and I thank you for the opportunity. While I don't have near the accomplishments of the previous commencement speakers like astronaut Stephanie Wilson, Professor Anita Hill, or one of my heroes, the Honorable John Lewis, I stand here as a very proud Ty Allen Jackson. For those who don't know me, I can sum me up in one sentence. I am the happiest man in the world. Having found my purpose and having that purpose benefit children has been the most beautiful gift. Mark Twain once said that the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. The day that I became an author, author, I discovered my why. I knew why I was here. I pray that you have found or will find your why. Finding mine has been truly instrumental to my joy and my happiness. I have to admit, I really struggled with this speech. I have given hundreds of speeches in hundreds of different places, but never a commencement speech and certainly never one in which I was receiving a doctorate. So I didn't know what voice to use. Do I speak to you as a black man living in such divisive times? Do I speak to you as an author and an entrepreneur who has some level of success in my field? Do I speak to you as a father and a family man who loves his family more than anything in the world? But ultimately, I decided to speak to you as what I truly am when you strip away the titles and the labels, and it is the same as you are, and that is being human. So my fellow humans, I like to offer you a few things that I've learned during my 53 years on this planet that have helped me become a better human. Now these things can be applicable towards being a better father or mother or spouse or entrepreneur or whatever you choose your path to be but mostly they are to guide you to being the best versions of yourself. Own your failures. You will fail in one form or another, but the key is to be accountable for your failures and to learn from them. Accountability for your actions is paramount to succeed in whatever form you deem. 
But own your victories also, because they are equally yours. Raise your hands triumphantly as often as you can. The world needs to see winning role models to inspire them to win in their own game of life. Forgive those who have done harm to you. I know this is not an easy thing to do, but I can assure you that it will help you sleep better at night. And the person that you should forgive the most often is yourself. Forgiving yourself is one of the greatest forms of self-love. Realize that the only home that you will ever truly own is your body. Love it, nurture it, respect it, enjoy it, and it will treat you well. Hard work always wins. Nepotism, luck, and circumstances may get you the job or the mate or the whatever, but it will be hard work that sustains it and makes you proud when you look at yourself in the mirror. Be kind. If you use kindness as your religion and as your uh, political affiliation, you will never feel bad or guilty or be accused of leaning too far left or too far right. When you lead with kindness, decisions about humanity become substantially easier. Go play. Somehow or another, as we grow up, we stop playing. Play is one of those necessary foundations to the ultimate goal of life, which in my humble opinion is simply to be happy. So please never, ever grow up. And as often as you can, every day if possible, go and play. Be your most authentic self. There are 7 billion people on this planet, but there is only one you. Don't try to be like someone else. The world needs you just as is. Honor what makes you the amazing soul that you are. Make gratitude your superpower. Waking up every single morning grateful to see another day, what the day brings you will vary, but being grateful for having a day is a power that will serve you well. My favorite quote of all times is by author John Shedd. He said, a ship is safe in harbor, but that's not what ships are for. We are all vessels on this amazing planet, and we are not here to play it safe. Like ships, we are built to explore, to seek adventure, and to discover. Those who have achieved greatness in life have done so by taking great risks, so sail on. And finally, and perhaps the toughest thing, is to love everybody. Now, I know this sounds cliche and silly and impractical, but I really mean it. In a world so cynical and so divided, Loving your fellow humans has never been more necessary. And love can take the shape of a smile to a stranger or donating your time in a soup kitchen or just saying, I'm sorry. Or simply looking in the mirror and loving the beautiful human that you see before you. Love always wins. To my fellow humans, I am grateful for this opportunity. I thank you for allowing me to be part of this amazing journey. Congratulations on all that you have achieved in such a unique and in trying time. I wish you prosperity. I wish you peace. I wish you love. And I wish you to dream a big, big dream. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jackson. As we begin to announce this year's degree candidates, I would like to acknowledge that this year has been anything but usual. I applaud the tremendous grace and resiliency the class of 2021 has demonstrated in the face of a global pandemic. I thank each and every one of you for helping us develop a commitment to the health and safety of our community. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts through the Department of Higher Education and the Board of Trustees of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts, I am pleased to confer upon those designated candidates who have completed all academic requirements and who have been approved by the faculty the Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study, the degree of Master of Education, the degree of Master of Business Administration and Undergraduate Studies, Bachelor of Arts in Performing Arts, Bachelor of Arts in Arts Management, Bachelor of Arts in Art, Bachelor of Arts in English, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Biology, the Bachelor of Science in Community Health, the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Studies, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, 
the Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Bachelor of Arts and Science in Physics, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Bachelor of Science in History and Geography, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Bachelor of Art in Math, the Bachelor of Art in Sociology, the Bachelor of Art in Philosophy, Bachelor of Art in Political Science and Public Policy, Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Suraya Abdul Wahab Certificate of Advanced Graduate Studies Shannon Adams Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Brian Adelt Bachelor of Science Computer Science I would like to thank my family for all of their support as well as my girlfriend Crystal Lauren Aitken Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Madeline Albano Master of Education Michael Albert Bachelor of Arts English Class of 2021, huh? Let's go. Let's go! Elizabeth Andrew Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Emma Andrews Bachelor of Science Business Administration Giovanni Arana Bachelor of Arts Physics Joshua Atwell Bachelor of Science Computer Science Ashley Avalon Bachelor of Science Health Science Amelia Badohu Bachelor of Science Chemistry Crystal Bailey Bachelor of Arts Psychology Alyssa Berry Master of Education Victoria Bashista Bachelor of Science Biology Emma Bell Bachelor of Arts Psychology John Beckwith Bachelor of Science Business Administration Kayla Beheimer Bachelor of Arts Art Management Dana Bennett Certificate of Advanced Graduate Studies Yasmin Bencher Bachelor of Arts Sociology Abigail Berry Bachelor of Arts History Amanda Barris Bachelor of Arts English Hi everyone, congratulations and good luck to my fellow classmates of MCLA's class of 2021. We did it! Jessica Bellotta Bachelor of Science Business Administration Sarah Bloom Master of Business Administration Julia Boger Hawkins Bachelor of Arts Sociology Joyce Boyden Bachelor of Science Business Administration Addison Bonacio Bachelor of Science Radiologic Sciences Amber Barrowy Bachelor of Arts Performing Arts Amanda Bortman Bachelor of Arts English Catherine Bovard Master of Education Shauna Bowen Bachelor of Arts Performing Arts Sean Bradshaw Bachelor of Science Athletic Training Caitlin Breitenbach 
Master of Education Elizabeth Brick Bachelor of Arts Art Casey Bruzo Bachelor of Science Health Science Heather Berzicki Master of Education Morgan Burfield, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Tino Burns, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Aubrey Bushika, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Taylor Bushika, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Marissa Butlieri, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Emily Burns, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Shay Den Callahan, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Owen Canales, Bachelor of Science. Computer Science Christopher Carr Master of Education Polana Kayan Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Roberto Castillo Bachelor of Arts History Nicholas Castle Bachelor of Science Business Administration Michael Chung, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Christopher Clark, Master of Education, Nicholas Colabella, Bachelor of Arts, Art Management, Anira Colon, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies, Gabriel Columna, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, Christina Cook, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Abigail Cosgrove Lussier, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Isabel Costa, Bachelor of Arts, English, Bridget Cox, Bachelor of Arts, History, Chris Casalio, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Mason Cranmer, Graduate Certificate in Business Administration, Isabel Crawford, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, faculty, friends, and family that supported me through my time here at MCLA. Lorenzo Cristofolini, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Jenna Crozier, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies. Cody Crozier, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Andrew Kruitz, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts. Jennifer Cummings, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Christopher Curtin, Bachelor of Arts, English. 
Hiya, it's 2.53 a.m. and I'm reading this magazine about UFOs, so thanks to all my MCLA friends and colleagues for getting me to where I am today. Sarah Zarnecki, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Ariana D'Abro, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Jake Daynault, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Donna Daly Keen, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Sabrina Dams, Bachelor of Arts, English. Lakiria Darkins, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Emily Diso, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Study. Kaya Zepeda, Bachelor of Science, Physics. Get your pictures, get your selfies. Paul Davila, Bachelor of Science. Math Matthew Delgado Bachelor of Arts Psychology Lori Del Molino Master of Education Samuel Del Molino Bachelor of Science Business Administration Michael D. Martinez Bachelor of Arts History Shelby Dempsey, Bachelor of Arts, History, Emily DiPietro, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, Iolani Duriz, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Garrett DeRosia, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts, Hannah Demeray, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Idalise Diaz, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Brianna Di Nicola, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Alexander Drennan, Bachelor of Arts, Physics. Kelly Donovan, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Michaela Dowling, Master of Education. Sky Drake, Bachelor of Science, Radiologic Sciences. Jocelyn Duhamel, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Jessica Dunn, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Mackenzie Ebert, Bachelor of Science, Radiologic Sciences. Peter Ebling, Master of Education. Carolyn Fagan, Bachelor of Science, Athletic Training. George Felagloy, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Jake Ferrara, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Victoria Fisher, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts. Nakishi Fontan. Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Haley Gabriel, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Happy graduation, we did it. Congrats everybody. Luke Gamache, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Daniel Gamari, 
Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Mackenzie Gardner, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Kelly Garrant, Bachelor of Science, Math, Cameron Gasco, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Amber Gasper, Bachelor of Arts, Art, Melissa Gay, Bachelor of Arts, History, Alexis Giardina, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Ali Jabot, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Ivy Gifford Blasey, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Madison Gigliotti, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Ari L. Gingold, Master of Education, Michaela Gosinski, Bachelor of Arts, Art Management, William Goddard, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Adrian Goines, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Crystal Haas, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Nia Hamlin, Bachelor of Science, Radiologic Sciences, Caleb Hannon, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Letitia Hargret, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Vanessa Harrigan, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy. Nolan Hayer, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Kathleen Heyman, Bachelor of Arts, English. Jeffrey Heller, Master of Business Administration. Juliana Henault, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Noah Henkinius, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies. Christy Guerra. Master of Education Brandon Hogue Bachelor of Science Computer Science Kareen Honecker Master of Education Aaron Horn Master of Education Matthew Hodling Bachelor of Arts English Ashley Inman Bachelor of Science Health Science Madison Jane Bachelor of Arts Psychology Lily Jennings Bachelor of Arts Psychology Samantha Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Math. Jessica Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. McKenna Jordan, Bachelor of Science, Athletic Training. Amanda Judson, Bachelor of Arts, History. Lydia Young, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts, Jennifer Kamiansky, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, Courtney Key, Master of Education, Michaela Keeney, Bachelor of Arts, Art Management, Samantha Kerr, 
Bachelor of Arts, English. I want to thank my professors and Jen for pushing me to be my best self and helping me make my own opportunities. I want to thank my friends for all the fun memories, and I want to thank my parents for supporting me in my dreams. Thank you, MCLA. Richard Kelly, Master of Education. Congratulations, MCLA class of 2021. Many thanks to Stephen and Donnie. Couldn't have done this without you. And thank you to Professors Hakeem, Ginsburg, Clark, and Stern. Penny Joan Kickery, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Alexander King, Bachelor of Arts, History. Abigail Klein, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Stephen Kamenecki, Certificate of Advanced Graduate Studies. Emery Cortez, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Jessica Kraka, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Tessa Langsdale, Bachelor of Arts, English. Connor Christensen, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Susan Krom, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Rachel Lake, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Madison LaMonda, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Bianca Loscase, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Janice Latini, Master of Business Administration. Sarah Lavari, Bachelor of Science, Community Health Education. Andrew Lavelle, Bachelor of Arts, History. Sam Lee, Bachelor of Science, Biology. William Leino, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Mary Lemus, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Lauren Leroux, Master of Education. Elizabeth Lesage, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Zachary Levesque, Bachelor of Science, Radiologic Sciences. Mackenzie Little, Bachelor of Arts, Art Management. Rosalind Lincoln, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Dean Allen Little, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Kylie Lockwood Bubier, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Sean Loftus, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Shamar Logan, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Kayla Long, Master of Business Administration. Kathleen Loria, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Stephen Luciano, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Abigail Lynn Luzinski, Master of Education. Julia Violet Madalena, Bachelor of Arts, English. Chukwamika Maduka, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Karen Mafocho, Master of Education. Katrina Mafocho, Master of Education. 
Bethany Malloy, Bachelor of Arts, Art Management, Max Martel, Bachelor of Arts, English, Emily Martin, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Everett Dylan Martin, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Justin Martin, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Kylon Martin, Bachelor of Arts, English, Noah Madrigali, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Haley McMenamin, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emily McAdoo, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Tracy McConnell, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. My journey started as a North Adams State College Mohawk and I'm finishing as an MCLA Trailblazer. Congrats to the class of 2021. Declan McDermott, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts. Joshua McFadden, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Audra McMahon, Master of Business Administration. Brianna McNamara, Bachelor of Arts, English. Amanda Mezawar, Master of Business Administration. Jesse Medeiros, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Courtney Meisberger, Master of Education. Tara Moore, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Casey Messina, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Andrea Moreau, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Austin Miller, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. James Miller, Bachelor of Arts, History, Jordan Mixon, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Patricia Molina, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, Antoine Montgomery, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Heather Moran, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Ian Mosher, Bachelor of Arts, Art. Molly Moynihan, Bachelor of Arts, History. Megan Margaret Murphy, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Charles Najimi, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Zayden Narrell, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Mariama Ndiaye, Bachelor of Arts, English. Kristen Negrini, Master of Education. Abigail Nichols. Bachelor of Science, Radiologic Sciences, Haley Norsworthy, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts, Shannon Prouty, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Victoria Papetti, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies, 
Andrew Nygaard, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Justin O'Connor, Bachelor of Arts, English, Sam Olson, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Carlia Ortiz, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Hey, it's Carlia. Congratulations, class of 2021. I wanted to give a quick shout out to my friends, my family, and everybody that got me throughout this journey. Thank you guys so much. Jacob Ostrobinski, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Samantha Willett, Bachelor of Arts, English. Alex Pagan Rivera, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Grandma, I did this for you. Even though you're not here no more, I love and miss you. And I want to say thank you to my family and friends and everyone around me who supported me through all these years. Martha Paolucci, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Krista Paquette, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Julia Parker, Bachelor of Arts, English. Tanner Porino, Bachelor of Arts, Art. William Pruner, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. David Payne, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Kim Pemble, Master of Education. Matthew Pennell, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Christopher Pfeiffer, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Thomas Phillips, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts. Taylor Pickup, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Molly Polk, Master of Education. Hannah Poplowski, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies. Brendan Powers, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Nicole Prestipino, Bachelor of Science, Radiologic Sciences. Wendy Preventure, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Kyle Prue, Bachelor of Science. Business Administration Alanza Quinones Bachelor of Science Health Science Allison Ramsdell Bachelor of Arts Performing Arts And Reigns Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Temiskan Rita Bachelor of Science Business Administration Alexandria Renton Master of Education Samantha Rue Bachelor of Arts Psychology I'm so glad to finally be at this finish line. It's been a long time coming. I want to thank my family and my friends backing me up the entire time. Jenna Revert Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Brian Rhodes, Bachelor of Arts, English. Jamie Richardson, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Destiny Rivera, Bachelor of Arts, Art Management. Brooks Robinson, Bachelor of Science, 
Computer Science Randy Rocca Bachelor of Arts Psychology Tyler Rockenfield Bachelor of Arts English Elizabeth Rodeo Bachelor of Arts Performing Arts Ivelisse Rodriguez Bachelor of Science Business Administration Seanette Rodriguez Bachelor of Arts English Lindsay Rosa Bachelor of Arts Art Management James Ross Bachelor of Science Business Administration Raphael Rothman Bachelor of Arts Sociology Tala Russo Bachelor of Arts Art Ryan Rue Bachelor of Science Biology Mackenzie Rumrill Bachelor of Science Radiologic Sciences Gabrielle Rousche Bachelor of Science Radiologic Sciences Erica Ryan Bachelor of Science Health Science Nicole Salvi Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Connor Sampson Bachelor of Science Athletic Training Stephanie Samuels Master of Business Administration Omar Alejandro Santiago Rodriguez Bachelor of Science Health Science Jose Sharon Bachelor of Science Computer Science Anna Schlafer Bachelor of Science Health Science Isabella Schmidt Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Brandy Scully Bachelor of Science Radiologic Sciences Katie Samexent Master of Business Administration Tiffany Serrano Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies Jabari Shakir, Bachelor of Arts, English. Haley Sickle, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emily Sinkowitz, Bachelor of Arts, English. Marissa Seiler, Master of Business Administration. Nadja Sims. Bachelor of Arts Performing Arts Melissa Sirikin Bachelor of Science Biology Dondre Sistrunk Bachelor of Science Business Administration Aisha Smith Bachelor of Science Radiologic Sciences Scarlett Smith Bachelor of Science Computer Science Parker Snyder Bachelor of Science Education Hannah Susie Bachelor of Arts English Marissa Sprague Master of Education Nick St. Fleur Bachelor of Science Business Administration Bristol Sternfield Bachelor of Science Environmental Studies Victor Stewart Bachelor of Arts Sociology Isabel Stomberg Bachelor of Arts Sociology Catherine Therian 
Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Study, Andrew Thomas, Bachelor of Arts, Art. Bye, MCLA. Thank you for all the memories and the good times. I just want to leave you guys with one thing. Don't forget to follow Drew Thomas Art on Instagram and Facebook, and check out my website at drewthomasart.com. Thanks. Bye. Ashanti Thomas, Bachelor of Arts, Art. Karina Thompson, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Laura Ellen Tubbs, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. I'd like to take a moment to thank my fiance Josh, my children Mark and Lisa, Lily and Jayla, my best friend Tanya, my friends, my family, my advisors, my professors, my classmates, MCLA, thank you. Clara Ulkin, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Tara Agat Valen, Bachelor of Arts, English. <laughs> Jennifer Van Brommer, Bachelor of Arts, English. Edwin Varis, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Zoe Villain, Bachelor of Arts, Art. Morgan Watson, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. I want to thank my parents, grandparents, brother, sister, Coach Barron, and all the athletic department. Emily Weinstock, Bachelor of Arts. Psychology. Ryan Weir, Bachelor of Arts, English. Emily Weston, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Benjamin Wick, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Brandon Williams, Master of Business Administration. Elizabeth Williams, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Robin Williams, Bachelor of Arts, History. Eric Willis, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Richard Wilson, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Shayna Wilson, Bachelor of Arts, English. Thank you to my friends and family who have been very supportive of me over the last four years. I can't believe my goal of being a teacher is this much closer. Alexis Wingfield, Bachelor of Arts, English. Kirby Wisman, Master of Education. Miranda Wisman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Alexander Wojcik, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Crystal Wojcik, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. I'd like to say thank you to my mom and my dad for all the support they have given me, as well as my sister Jessica, my boyfriend Brian, and all of the faculty members of the business department. We did it! Nathan Wojtaszek, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Hua Xiu, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Christy Yagi, Bachelor of Arts, English. Noah Yersley, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. 
She's a Zahid. Bachelor of Science. Biology. Christine Stong. Master of Education. Si Yu Zhang. Bachelor of Science. Business Administration. Emily Zotto. Certificate of Advanced Graduate Studies. The Greek philosopher Heraclitus suggests that the only permanence in life is change. If that thinking is indeed true, you, the graduating class of 2021, are very different people today than when you arrived at MCLA. It is indeed the case that you now have a developing expertise in an academic discipline that you did not have four years ago. You have discovered the importance of others' ways of thinking that have challenged and perhaps changed your own thought patterns. Some of you arrived as business majors and are leaving as artists, while others who dreamed of becoming a teacher discovered the complexities of our educational system and are ready and prepared to enhance its quality. Some of you discovered an inner leader that allowed you to become president of the Student Government Association or captain of your athletic team. All of you changed in one way or another which is exactly what a liberal arts education should accomplish. You are now ready to learn even more about yourselves, about your careers, and about our world. It is also the case that the world is a different place today than it was when you arrived here. There is a pressing need in the world today for thoughtful, intelligent, creative, and resilient people like you. The world and our communities are calling for more MCLA graduates to ameliorate the conditions that have become so oppressive and so dangerous for so many. Use your education, your knowledge, to create change while bringing more kindness into the world. As the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Fortunate for the world, you have been educated well by my colleagues at MCLA. You know how to identify and solve problems. You are skilled at working with groups of people to advance improvement. You are practiced in the art of knowing where to find beauty and how to help others find their own truth. Having been raised in the digital age, you know how to apply technology to solve problems, and you understand the importance of serving one's community. Let me reinforce what I just said. We educate people to help advance society. We educate people to discover beauty and truth. We educate people to use technology. We educate people to be public servants. We educate students not just so that they have a better life, but so that we all have a better life. Could there be a more noble mission for higher education? This is our compact with society that makes higher education the most important social institution in our nation. As graduates of MCLA, you are a promise we make to the world to honor the centuries-old purpose of American higher education, which is to respond to the needs and demands of society. You are the best hope and strategy we have to improve this broken world. And so this is my charge for you. The motto of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts is Lux Esto Vera. In light, there is truth. MCLA has lighted the lantern of truth in you. Use this light, this truth, to reveal what you can do to improve the world for all of us. To the members of the class of 2021, you are now graduates of Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts. Please move the tassel on your mortarboard from right to left. Upon conclusion of these commencement exercises, you are, if you are able, please join us for the farewell Zoom call to gather one last time. These 122nd commencement exercises are now concluded. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2021.